Facing Project takes an issue within a community and really helps communities rally around that issue area. We pair writers with storytellers to look at first-person stories of issues people are facing in their communities each day. We started the Facing Project because we wanted to find out more about how teenage girls, or what teenage girls, think about their community. We wanted to figure out their dreams and their challenges and where they're going. Nice. Nice, sometimes angry. Caring. Definitely cheery. Fun. Like really forgiving. Optimistic. Joy. Messy. Happy. Loving. I'm very funny. Well, to myself, I guess. Literally, someone with kind of messy hair and glasses. Well, when I look in the mirror, I just see this person that like I've come to know and that I like ain't really am. I see a caring person who helps people when they need help. I see my eyes, and then I also see my curly hair, but on the inside, I see a loving person. A young girl who's trying to go somewhere. I notice with teenage girls, when they look in the mirror, they're looking at imperfections. They're really focusing on things that they want to change. My body, my shape. I don't like that about myself. It's like when I'm all dressed up, I feel really pretty. And then other days, I just kind of uh, look at myself and feel like, yep, it's a time for sleep, <laughs> you know? I want you to know that be true to yourself. I want you to know that you are important, that you are unique, and you are wonderfully and beautifully made by God. I think probably my top strength would be that I like can make anybody laugh. I just have a really funny personality. I'd say my top strength is responsibility. Stubbornness or determination? I don't know what's kind of a good word for it, but either one I think is my top strength. What I like most about myself is guess how strong I am do everything. And like friends with everyone. I like that I'm always happy. My biggest weakness is I can tend to get really moody very fast. I'm shy and I'm not really the kind of person that can go in front of like a humongous crowd. I'm trying to work on being more responsible. Teenage girls today need to focus on their strengths instead of counting their faults. Successful adults are successful because they're masters of what they're really good at. I live with my mom, my dad, and my sister. I live with my mom in Harmony, which is my little sister. And um, on the weekend, sometimes my mom's fiance and his son come out here. I live with my mother, my two brothers, and my sister. I live with my mom and my sister and my dad. My parents are divorced. Uh, my mother lives in Elkhart, and my dad lives uh, here in South Bend. I feel supported by my family because they help me a lot and they give me good advice. 
they actually help me a lot. They cheer me on sometimes. My mom really like pushes me to do things and she supports my choices. My family is like very motivative and everything I do, they encourage me to do better. I do feel supported by my family. They come to a lot of my school events. I have my brother that has helped me out with so much and then my mom and my dad. They always want me to do good. Even if I'm doing something absolutely ridiculous, they'll still back me up on it. I'm supported by my school when um, I'm having trouble and they just, they come to me and give me like ways to get through it. My school, like, it's a good environment, but like some of the teachers, they don't really support the kids. Like, I think I have more support from my friends. My school like has their own kind of, uh, I don't want to say agenda, but I guess that's what they would, I guess that's what we would say. And if you don't follow that certain agenda, you don't get a lot of support, but if you do, you get a ton of support. One of my teachers, she always wanted to be there. When she missed a day, she hated missing a day. Alternative school is different from public schools for me because um, you only go, my alternative school, you only go three hours a day. It's a lot easier. There's smaller classes, you're not around as much drama. It's kind of alright. It's kind of a bunch of negativity by the kids, but it's alright. Teachers sometimes do it too. Some teachers don't really want to be with us. Like, they just want to get their money and then leave. So, like, they don't really care what we do. Well, uh, President Kennedy said that uh, the future promise of any nation be directly measured by the present prospects of his youth. And I've uh, always thought about that as being true for a community as well. It's a, I, I kind of do feel supported by the community because there's a lot of, um, a lot of things to do. I like to do a lot of uh, volunteer work. I like the um, art fairs that go on. In my community we do have the games, we have the drugs, and we have that, so like that's not very supportive. But we also have the positive side, which they can be very supportive by, like, giving us places, like, giving us kids places to uh, hang out after school or giving us new activities. I don't really know. Not really in the community much. I think young people often underestimate how much uh, the whole community cares about them. I, I sit up in this office every day thinking about what's happening with our young people, whether our community is supporting them or not. I think mentoring is really important because it can give a young person a perspective around life that they wouldn't otherwise have. My role model would be my mom because she's really strong and she works hard to give me and my sister what we want and what we need. I only have one that would be my mom and that's because like she sets a lot of examples for me as in like being a lady and doing stuff for myself and not having others do stuff for me. Um, my mom, because she's not just my mom, she's my mom, my dad, my superhero, my superior, like, she's a lot. My role model is my mom because she's like a caring person and like she's reliable. Another role model would probably be my old history teacher. She just really made a difference, like, in the way I think the way that she knew how to like follow her heart. My mom is definitely one of my role models. Uh, so is this uh, lady at my church. Just be a friend. Just be a friend. Just have that ear. A lot of the teens are looking someone, looking for someone that they can just talk to. A person that makes a good role model is someone that is uh, matured, but still be able to have fun at the same time. It's definitely someone who is demonstrating those qualities that you want to see out in the world. You're going to have good integrity, you're going to have honesty, you're going to have someone who's not afraid to stand up for what they believe in. Moms play an important role in the lives of their children and especially in the lives of teenage girls. Moms today are making a difference and they're definitely making a positive impact in the lives of their daughters. I feel like what holds a lot of teenagers back is probably themselves in a lot of cases. I think that teenage, some teenagers use like drugs and stuff to like be cool and I think sometimes they do it just because it's fun and they're bored. A lot of teenage 
teenagers feel like they can't really connect with adults or um, like parental figures. I feel like since they got in trouble for something that they did kind of similar earlier, they don't want to get in trouble when they're just looking for help. The fact that I'm shy, but yet you want to help speak, but you can't because you're too shy. Um, my dad, probably, because he's um, an alcoholic. Mostly transportation to get to places, and also I don't want to bother parents to get to stuff. The teens of today and the teens when I was a teen, it's still the same issues. There's bullying, there's self-esteem problems, there's stress over homework, there's stress over boys and dating. Sometimes when I see like pretty people, I'm like, oh, I wish I could be that pretty. And then like I'm looking in the mirror and sometimes I just feel bad on myself. I used to be concerned about what other people think about me. Um, now, I'm really not. I don't care what people think about me. I care about what I think about myself. For them to be able to feel comfortable in their own skin is really important for their development. And sometimes that may mean they're going to try on one identity today, and then tomorrow it might be a different one. Like a lot of teenage girls will like go to something like Cosmos and try to figure out how to make themselves look like more like Cosmos girls when uh, they know that's like never really possible because uh, Photoshop, like those women aren't the same <laughs> when they were taking the photos. So I would say for each girl to give herself a good positive talking to. Well, I just think the most important thing is to honor who you are. At my high school, I've seen a lot of uh, more mental bullying or emotional bullying. When somebody calls you something, and you know otherwise, just don't even bother with it. Being bullied for me personally made me feel like um, I wasn't worth anything, I was worthless, I didn't have a purpose. And to the people I bullied, I would say I'm sorry that I know that it was horrible and they didn't deserve it. A mature teenager looks like one that doesn't really um, put others down and always help somebody to do better. Being a teen mom isn't what you see on TV, it's like real. Well, all my years of high school, um, I played basketball. I was in the medical magnet program. I was a peer mentor. I did a lot of positive things. Um, and then my senior year, I happened to get pregnant. And it's like the whole world looked at me differently. And well, it was said that I would be a pregnant dropout. And I was like, those words for some reason just made me boil. And I was like, I refuse. I know I've heard of a lot of people wanting to be pregnant just because they'll have unconditional love from their baby, but I mean, you can have that, but you don't have to have it right now. You have to set standards for your life. Once you have those standards, you're standing for something. I'm not concerned of what other people think of me because at the end of the day, they have their own problems. I don't really take things for granted. Like, I feel like most te teenagers do today. Think before you say something. Like, find something to channel your anger. Think for themselves and uh, be able to ask questions without uh, feeling like you have to feel like you're stupid. Like, whatever you do, don't do things that you regret. Life's going to throw a lot of challenges at them, uh, and that they need to. Uh, look to their own values and uh, look to what's really important. Take high school seriously. Just be on the same page with your parents to do that. You just need to be honest with them, tell them what's really going on. There's only one life to live, so make it worth it. It's okay not to know exactly where you're going. Just start this adventure and see where it takes you. I'd really like to get involved in the community more and do things around it. For example, like even just like working at a shop downtown seems like it would be appealing. So I really like babies, so I might be the OBG way. My dreams are to either become an actress or to be an orthodontist. But it would be great to help somebody with a better smile. Just Trying to get the best job out there that'll like pay good money. In five years I see myself in college. Well, all my life I've loved singing, and so I'd probably be a singer. You know, my hope is that one of the teenage girls involved in this project uh, might wind up sitting in my office one day, in my desk, because uh, I'm not going to be here forever. 
in 10 years, <laughs> I see myself having kids and probably be married, um, not living in Indiana and being successful. I want to be seen by society as someone that works really hard and not um, tagged with a lot of stereotypes to be looked at as a unique individual. They're going to do amazing things, but we have to start engaging our, our young people in this community to be active citizens. It's time for adults today in our community to stop blaming teenagers for their mistakes and start asking ourselves what we can do to make a difference. I would like to take this opportunity to encourage every adult in South Bend, Indiana, as well as every community, to do everything in your power to positively support and encourage a teenage girl in your life. We hope that through our project, we have helped the teenage girls reveal who they are, who they want to be, and where they want to go in their future. I'm excited to learn about how this project goes because I think uh, there are a few more important things that we can be doing right now than empowering teenage girls in our community.